and won't go. Be fast with that cookie and take those clothes to the river for washing. My father wants them dry before sunset. Here is a plantain, eh? Roast it. That's what Papa wants to eat before the main dinner. Oh? Do you know what? Eh? When I look at both of you, I wonder what women that are aspiring to be wives to men and mothers to little innocent children will be as lazy as both of you. What did I just hear you say? Yeah, 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 one more. Are we the ones you are referring to as lazy women? Eh? Eh? Did you hear yourselves? Naga, take this heap of clothes and ensure you wash them. Make sure they're dry before sunset. The other one goes, Naga, take this plantain, roast it, and then make it ready before dinner. Naga is still the one that will cook the dinner. At present, Naga is making lunch. What do you people think Naga is? A locomotive engine or what? Naga, let me understand what you mean. Are you saying you're not going to wash those clothes or you're not going to roast that plantain? Are you possibly asking us to do the work you are supposed to do as a slave? Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ogonna, or whatever they call you. Ogonna. If you ever open that your dirty stinking mouth to call me a slave again, eh? You ain't gonna make it here. And if she doesn't call you a slave, what then will she call you? Oh. Hey. Hey. Mogo, mogo, mogo. Hey, child. See, eh? Both of you should just get out of my sight. If you know what is good for you, get out of my sight. I don't even know why I'm talking to idiots like you, lazy girls. What is the matter with you? What gave you the guts to talk to my sister and I? Give me a Give you a Give me a Give me a me Okwe Forest is behind your father's compound in the Roy. Wow, what are you saying? When other people come to our Nkisi River, before they even set foot in the water, our men are there like tigers, asking them to pay for them just to fish. So? And so? You're saying and so? When we come here to fetch fire, do, do we pay a dime? And we collect money from them. We collect from money from other people when they come to, to fish in our water. Peace, they say, is supreme. It's just unfortunate that Ezuka people do not value peace. My friend, let me advise you. Don't let our men hear you say this rubbish you're saying. They will just beat you up. If you go near, is that not the troublemaking I'm talking about? They are ready to beat a maiden up just because she's saying the truth. Mm. Oh. There's something you don't understand. I'll break it down for you. Our people are smart. 
we use every opportunity we get to make money. The open people are not. So is it our fault? My friend, my friend. By that you think money is everything up, yeah? Hey, why would you say a thing like that? I don't just think. I know. Money is everything. <laughs> Beautiful maidens of Ezuka Kingdom, resting in the forest of the peaceful Okwela. Greetings. We greet you too. Why would you greet him? Why are you talking to him? Listen to me. I know you're from Okwe. Don't come anywhere close to us because if you do, you will not like it. Don't come anywhere close. Get her from this place. Don't come anywhere close to me. I'm warning you. One of Hopewell. Who did you pay your fishing levy to before I started to fish in this in this river today? Who? Are you talking to me? <laughs> did you hear that? You are fishing in our in Kissy River. You one of Hopewell, and you're asking me, am I talking to you? Who did you pay your fishing levy to? I mean, who gave you permission to fish in this river today? Who? You no, know, this is very strange. Do I have to pay before I fish? And what kind of useless question is this? You are thinking you just come here and fish freely without paying anything to the owners of the river? Can you imagine? Ah, uh, great friends of uh, the great Ezuka kingdom. The river is a free gift from the gods. It has been serving all the kingdoms around here. We all came here and met it. I mean, so uh, why have you suddenly decided to start collecting levies from the people? Listen to me, you man of Okwe. I don't... If I we don't have time for this your nonsense question and answer to, at all. It is established already that once any strange man, any foreigner, is fishing in, a, in, a, in, a, in our river, the person must pay fishing levy. Yes. Now, you man of Okwe, I'm asking you, are you ready to pay us the fishing levy for fishing in our Nkisi River? If you don't have the money, no problem. But you have to swear on this water here and now, now. before us, that whatever number of fishes you manage to catch today, you have to divide it to two. You go with one part, and then we go with the other part. Are you ready to swear? Troublemakers indeed. But why is it so? Whatever I think, I don't care. The Okwe people look down on our people. They think they are better than we are. They're not. That man didn't show any sign of someone who looked down on anybody. He's a nice man. I can say he's a gentleman. What makes you think he's a gentleman? Mwago, listen. Was it because I used my matcha to ward him off? Do you know what he would have done to us? You don't even have an idea. You should be thanking me. <laughs> Azadi, my friend. That man came and greeted us. If he was looking at us as inferior, he would not have greeted us. And that your nonsense cutlass would not have done anything to defend you if he had intentions of attacking you. I don't, I don't care. I don't care what you think. Whatever it is you want to do, believe it or not. That's the trouble making I'm talking about. The guy didn't do anything. You already started attacking him. I just don't want to be friends with the open people. That is it. Greetings to you, my father, the king. The great Ezokwe, the first of Okwe kingdom. May you live long. Greeting, my son. 
You shall read after me. He said, Oh, Father, I had fun. That is why I called you. I can't understand the news going round in the palace that you left without your palace guards. Why should you do such a type of thing? Uh, Father, is there anything wrong with that? I just went fishing at uh, 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 Nikisi River. It's unbelievable. I have enough fishes here in this palace to last for months. Why in this world are you going on fishing? Father, for recreation, I, 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 I got bored of the life of solitude and quietness in the palace. So I left without the royal apparatus into a, a land where nobody knows me. But truth be told, Father, that trip made me to understand so many things about our kingdom and other kingdoms. What are you talking Father, why is it that whenever we go to fish at Nkisi River, we are made to pay what they call fishing levy to the young men of Ezuka Kingdom. But when they come to a great Obago forest to fetch firewood, we do not collect anything from them. Now, I, there's something I want to understand. Is it that we are cowards or is it that we do not know how to make money from what our ancestors have left for us? I'm not going to answer any of these questions because the trip that gave rise to them did not receive royal blessing. Don't allow what happened today to repeat itself. Yes, Father. Don't allow it. If you must go out, go out with the rear guards. And if you are going with rear guards, don't stray across the border. You are not allowed to do that. I'm sorry, Father. I, 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 I did not mean to make you angry. Let it be the last time to happen. Yes, Father. My daughter. <coughs> The kind of friends a woman keeps will affect her sense of reasoning and way of life. Ozodi, you are my only daughter. Eh? And I'm telling you now that I don't want to ever see you going out with Wongo. Hey, Nam, but why? Papa, is it because of that thing I told you that she said about her people? It would be so unfair if you have to judge her based on that. See, Papa. Wongo is a very good maiden. She's a workaholic. She's the kind of maiden that makes other maidens even work harder. Papa, please. Any maiden who has Wongo as a friend is lucky. Papa, why are you talking about her like this? Eh? Why? I'm sorry. The problem with you is that you don't know anything. I'm waiting for you, And let me tell you. I don't want you to argue with me on this matter anymore. I'm telling you now. I don't want to ever see you with that one girl again. Ever again. Hey, now. Okay, for me. Eh? One girl is my very good friend though, and, and I like her. I like her. But I don't know why you why this tough sanction. Oh, sorry. I want to be left alone. Now, now. Eh? See the guy say there now. Come on. with that cookie and take those clothes to the river for washing. My father wants them dry before sunset. Here is a plantain, eh? Roast it. That's what Papa wants to eat before the main dinner. Oh? Do you know what? Eh? When I look at both of you, I wonder what women that are aspiring to be wives to men and mothers to little innocent children will be as lazy as both of you. What did I just hear you say? Bia, 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 wongo. Are we the ones you are referring to as lazy women? Eh? Eh? Did you hear yourselves? 
Ngaka, take this heap of clothes and ensure you wash them. Make sure they're dry before sunset. The other one goes, Ngaka, take this plantain, roast it, and Nini make it ready before dinner. Ngaka is still the one that will cook the dinner. At present, Ngaka is making lunch. What do you people think Ngaka is? A locomotive engine or what? Ngwa Ngaka, let me understand what you mean. Are you saying you're not going to wash those clothes or you're not going to roast that plantain? Are you possibly asking us to do the work you are supposed to do as a slave? Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ogonna, or whatever they call you. Ogonna. If you ever open that your dirty stinking mouth to call me a slave again, eh? If you ain't gonna make it here. And if she doesn't call you a slave, what then will she call you? Oh. Hey. Hey. See, eh? Both of you should just get out of my sight. If you know what is good for you, get out of my sight. I don't even know why I'm talking to idiots like you, lazy girls. What is the matter with you? What gave you the gut to talk to my sister and I? Give me a Give you me Give me a Give me a
enjoy the fish pepper soup. You can say that again. You know, I actually caught that fish myself. Ah, and I love the way the cook prepared it. Oh, that's good. Uh, but my friends, the king, your father, he was not happy that you left the palace alone. Oh, do not. Oh, don't worry. I have already taken care of that issue. I mean, the king should understand that I'm a man now and cannot be confined to the palace all the time. I mean, I need to go out and mix with the people. Besides of all, my going out opened my eyes to so many things I wouldn't have known if I remained here at the palace. Really? Yeah. How do you mean? What are those things you found out? I will not compel our people to start collecting levies from people of other kingdoms who come to fetch firewood from Obago Forest. That would be outright wickedness. Yeah. I want us to send an emissary to the people of Ezuka Kingdom to let them know that it is not right for them to place levies on our people when they come to fish at Nkisi. They do that? Yes. I humble myself before the prince. Yeah, what is it, my dear? The cook would like to know what you want to have for dinner. For dinner. <laughs> What's that your name again? <laughs> Do tell the cook that uh, I cannot eat anything today. Okay? Uh, also let her know that I send her my regards and I appreciate her outstanding services. Okay? I'll repeat your exact words. <laughs> serves your prince. That's ridiculous. And I won't tolerate it. My prince, you're getting it all wrong. Gugbe is a beauty to behold. But I was not lost enough to her. I was just admiring her beauty. Let it be as you say. If you start anything stupid in this palace, you won't like me. Now get out. Papa, why is it that each time we call Mwango a slave, she gets angry? Eh? Is she not a slave? My daughters, there is no slave that wants to be addressed as such. You know why? Why, Papa? There is always a stigma attached to slavery. That was why the progressives were never sold into slavery. Are you saying that Mongo was never a progressive girl? That was why she was sold into slavery. I may not be right if I say that Mongo was sold into slavery because she was never sold into any slavery. Papa, you're confusing us. We know that Umwoko is not one of us. And we also know that you brought her from somewhere which makes her a slave. What exactly do you mean by she was never sold into slavery? <laughs> uh, my children, please listen. There is a tradition in Odias that has faded away. Before now in Odias, when you do any great thing for any man of others, he would not give you cow as we do here. He will rather give you a young girl that you can grow and nurture into a wife or anything. The gift of a young girl is the greatest gift any man of others can give to another man. I said, a son of a great man of others from a hungry leopard, which would have torn him to pieces. I killed the leopard with my bare hands. Hey! I remember that day. Wow, Papa. 
You see my daughters. In appreciation to what I have done. This man gave me one call. As a gift. Which is in line with their tradition. <laughs> wow, Papa. <laughs> when was this? That was a few years before your bed. I brought her to Ezuka here and named her Wonko. Now she was growing under the custody of your mother. She forced me into an oath. That was before she died. That I will never make her my wife. But, Papa, were you ever planning to marry her? <laughs> it was just uh, your mother's imagination that I may eventually end up marrying a young girl that is of the same age with my daughters. I entered into that oath because I never had such intention. <laughs> Papa, is she aware of all this? I am certain she knows that she is not of this family or even this town. But surely she doesn't know where she came from because she was still tender the time she was given to me. Hmm. Papa, if not for the work she's doing here, I would have asked you to send her back to where you brought her from. <laughs> I won't even try that. Because sending her back to Adias will trigger the anger of Odumiwele, the Brahman god of Odias people. Sending her back will probably be as if I have rejected a gift made to me by a great man of Odias. Odumiwele does not take it lightly with any man who does that. So you see why I can never try or think of sending her back. I say no bull or no bull when you go rip and see. I say no bull say no bull when you go to badja. What when you hear the bell, the bell, the bell. I sing it the bell in the circle. Ozodi, what is it? Why are you not talking to me? I called you. 
because I'm bothered about something. You are next in command to me. And people look unto you for direction. Now, I want you to direct me on something. Igwe, I am at your service. What troubles the great Ezeokwe of Okwe Kingdom? My son, Nana, the heir apparent to the throne, is ripe for marriage. And the girl we groom for him is getting old. And Nana is not talking about marriage. Now, uh, I want us to discuss like elders. Um, shall we continue waiting endlessly as the chief priest instructed? Ezo, you are the king. Obukalo, you are the prime minister of Obukalo. I, Gobenoji, the mouthpiece of the gods. Chief Priest of The three of us are serving this kingdom in three different ways. Gobenoji, I don't know why you should talk in this way. But when you speak like this, I know that something has come up. What is it? Igwe Yogulana Kwana says this kingdom. subjects, men and women of women, shall be ungovernable because they shall go out of the ways of our fathers and start something else. The calamity that will come thereafter will make us all to cry to our ancestors and us. With all due respect, you are scaring us. You are supposed to guide us, not scare us. Why are you laying courses on the line? Oh, Bukalo, you did not allow me to finish. What I said shall befall this land if we impose a wife. waters of Uwe and became the crown prince. The gods and ancestors of Uwe revealed to me that he should be allowed to choose a wife for himself. I don't know why you should say something like this. But we have a woman in this kingdom. Daughter of Okudo, of Adabowe, whom we have groomed for him right from bed. She is the person. Aye. Your Majesty, the people that are grooming her should do everything possible to ensure that our coming king loves her when he sees her. If he fails to like her, we cannot impose her on him, else. Iwe, Iwe, calamity shall befall. Ope, Iwe, I can't can't really unbulo. I can't can't really unbulo. Must so, Your Majesty. Nobody should suggest marriage to our prince. To become a man, then desire for a wife. As long as he has not desired for a wife, nobody should inform him about the maiden that is being groomed for him. Mm 
Igwe, if you will listen to me, I will suggest we continue waiting for the young man to grow into a man and desire a woman as instructed by the chief priest. My candid advice. What if we wait until the end of the year and he did not say anything about marriage? Are you possibly suggesting that we should continue waiting forever? Igwe, I know how concerned you are. All fathers do. But one thing we must not do is to counter the chief priest. We must wait. Waiting for the prince to confront us with the issue. And then we will tell him about the meeting. Where are you coming from? No, I'm coming from our place. From your place? And where are you going to? No, it's one ago. Uh-huh. No, I, I came to see your Zodi, my friend. I met her along the path when I was coming back from the river earlier this evening. And she didn't talk to me. I don't know what I did wrong to her. Are you listening to yourself? You met somebody on the way from the on the road. She did not talk to you. And then you decided to come to visit her to Ibu New. You are such a useless woman. No. I said, leave my compound now before I show you why I was advised to stop participating in the bullfight in the Ezuka Kingdom. I said, leave my house now. And let me warn you immediately. I don't want to ever see your legs in this compound again. And I don't ever want to hear you refer to my daughter as your friend. If it happens again, I will cut off those your two left legs. And then you will regret your life. Just less. She remains the only friend I have in this kingdom. Countless number of times she has saved me risking her life. Papa, I used to parade myself as a warrior, but I know that my physical strength is nothing compared to hers. She loves me. And she's committed to our friendship. Why are you treating her like this? Why? Azori, don't provoke me. Don't resurrect the bullfight in me. Leave my presence now. I said, leave my presence before I cut off your ears that look like that of a squirrel. into this my house you want to bring shame to my house in this kingdom that is you want to become pregnant in my house 
Papa, I've not done anything wrong, go. I have not done anything untoward. Where are you coming from? Papa, I went to see my friend Ozod in her house. And that's where I'm just coming from now. I told Ogonna to tell you that if you start to look for me, that I, I went there, that I, I, won't, I won't waste time. I'm, I'm here already. Hey. Liar! Papa, she didn't tell me anything. Ogonna! Ogonna, why? I told you to tell Papa that I went to see Ozodi in case he starts to look for me. Why, why are you lying? Wango, do you want to bribe me or what? Eh? Oh, so you want to lure me into lying to my father, eh? Hey! You're not serious. Hey! Papa, where is Yoko Kanagwagyu? Where is Yoko? She didn't now. tell me anything now. Now, Wango, tell me where are you coming from? I'm sorry, I was just provoked, just a little. Anyway, anyway. I just called you to tell me that. I saw my friend Ozodi when I was returning from the river. She refused to talk to me. In fact, she didn't even utter a word. Is this the reason you called me out here? Eh? Hey! Hey! Ogonna. Itala. What is my business, eh? With what you do with those useless girls in your class, eh? I thought I just said sorry to you. Uh, you didn't have to call us names. Anyway, I'm asking a favor of you. Please, should Papa come back and start to look for me, tell him I've gone to us all this place. I won't be long, go. Be cool. Mm. <laughs> okay. Why are you moping at me as if I have water in my mouth? I am asking you, where are you coming from? Papa, I went to Ichi OBSA's compound to see us all in my friend, though. Hey, Ogonna, because you have to tell the truth, tell Papa the truth, what I you, told what you before. Did you tell me anything? What did you tell me? Where? How? Where? What did you tell me? Papa, I don't mind how. Mum, Ogonna! She said she was here. I did not hear her to know the truth. Was she here? Moyenka, never. Now you be I was here now. I, I came. I, I saw you. You were seated, playing your zita. I greeted you, and you sent, shouted at me, and sent me out of your compound. You see why? I don't want to see her anywhere near my daughter. She's a terrible liar. Hey. I said they can't. Now you be almost wearing me. I came here, Pam. Ta, Seliga, say forever. Now you are I I was here, Papa. I'm not lying, no. I came here. I saw Nai. I greeted him. I told him I was here to see that I'm here to see Ozodi. Yeah. He shouted at me and and, 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 and sent me out of this compound. Nai you be say because you know tell Papa the truth. I know you Papa, I am terribly disappointed to know that my father, whom I had respected all my life, is a liar. I can even deny an innocent maiden. Hey, Papa. Papa. Don't provoke me. Don't push me beyond my limit. Go and ask around the Izuka kingdom. A woman who is disowned by her father can never get married. Be careful. know your duties in this palace. That's good. Is there anything my prince will be needing because I will soon go to bed to rest my bones? Oh, uh, no, my dear Ugebe. Hey, you have done excellently well today. I don't want to disturb you again. You can go to sleep. You shall reign after your father. And you shall reign good. Good night, my prince. Good night, Ophel. Good night, Ophel. Good night. You know, she
she is endowed with all the qualities of a woman. Each time I look at her, I always think of getting married. <laughs> My friends, now I know why you were angry at me earlier, when I was admiring her beauty. You want to make her yours. I wonder what you're going to tell the king your father to allow you marry the maiden that serves you in the palace. You know the problem I always have with you is that you talk too much and you talk outright nonsense. Did I ever tell you I want to make her my wife? Did I? Now let me warn you. Don't you ever say that again. Did you hear me? I'm sorry my prince. It's going to happen again. Now get out. I'm sorry my prince. You are going to stay like this until tomorrow. That is your punishment for developing into a loose one under my nose. Papa, it should be seen like the case. Ogonna did the same thing to him. I'm telling you the truth, please. Eh? Don't push me to kill you. Don't force me to kill you. Don't attempt to kill any mosquito because the water in the cups may pour away in the process. And you cannot replace the water in the cups. Of course, you don't know the nature of the water. You will not sit the cups somewhere to sleep because, of course, you know that the cups will not sit. I will decide your fate in the morning. Do not push your luck too far. Because I'm telling you the truth because no because Do not push your luck too far. Would it cost you anything to go out there and tell father the truth? Would it? What do you mean by telling him the truth? I mean to tell him that she told you where she was going. Why would I do a thing like that? Eh? Amaka, is that why you're disturbing me at this time of the night? Eh? Biko, have a Biko. What is it? Hmm. Remember. Remember what father told us about her. Remember what? That she is affiliated to Odumi Wele, the paramount god of Odeasi people. You lied against her. Go out there and tell father the truth. Save her this punishment because of the gods. Bia, 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 Maka. Kangwa Goku. Don't you ever talk to me about her again. Don't you ever. Eh? She deserves what she's getting. Mm. Please leave me alone, I beg. Mm. I, I sleep. I want to sleep. I have told you. Agwa Goku Angi. Don't say I did not tell you. You, you know you don't Maka. to hear. Maka. I told me, be. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Ah, one of the stubborn is that one. by this time, you are supposed to be sleeping by now. Huh? Ever since you started working in this palace, you have never undermined my powers. You've always been a wonderful maiden. I know I owe it to you whenever I have an important information to give it to you. I, I, I don't understand what you mean. What information do you have to give to me? Forget the look on his face. Forget intimidation. He has master as the common king. Forget the fear he registers in people as one of the leaders of the masquerade court of Oko Kingdom. Forget all that. I, of all, will tell you that beneath all these postures lies love like never before. In summary, the prince loves you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, over what are you saying? Don't forget we are still in the palace and the walls have ears. There are things you don't see. How can you possibly tell me that the prince, the heir apparent to the throne of Opwe Kingdom likes me? Likes me for what? I didn't say like, my dear. I said love. And I mean every letter of it. The prince loves you. Your beauty, your beauty has engulfed him. And he's thinking of making you his. My father told me that the marriage of the prince is guided by the gods and no one discusses it. I believe my father and I don't want to be part of this discussion again. Please. Uh, uh, no, hold on. Hold, hold on. See, huh? please. For example, if the prince himself, Prince Nana, walks up to you and tells you that he wants you to be his wife, are you going be? Are you? Telling me or for that you say no to him. Kedonye bunemo abona me we ine. Kedonye bunamo abona me we ine. Obi na bawa mo, obi abari sigo mo. Ndem tu kwasi robio asiga si megi de mo. Kedonye mga kosarao, kedonye ngebe sawao. Ama imi emgemeo, ama imi emgemeo. Kede ben namuno, kede ben namuno, kede ben namuno, kede ben namuno. Kedo ne bunne mo, abona me we ine. Kedo ne bunna mo, abona me we ina. Obi na bawa mo, obi abari sigo mo. Ne tu kwasi robio, asiga si megi de mo. Kedo ne mga kosarao, kedo ne mge besa kwao. Ama imi emgemeo, ama imi emgemeo. Stupid song, we are you singing? Close your mouth. I don't want to hear you sing Pim again. I say Pim. You will remain like this until tomorrow morning. I swear by Abuel Nala, if I wake up in the morning and you are not like this. going to tell me what is eating you up. You have been moody all day and I'm no longer comfortable with it. I am your wife for goodness sake. If there's any problem, you leave me to it. Huh? 
why is it that your son is not thinking of marriage? The maiden will go for him. May get old in her father's house. And your son may refuse to marry her when he's ready to marry. And that is it's giving me serious concern. It's giving me serious sleepless nights. With all due respect, Your Majesty, you are the cause of the problem. How am I the cause of the whole problem? How? Had it been you allowed me to press on him, by now your son would have long been married. You know how these young men behave. You don't allow them to take decisions on their own. That could have been the case. Where your son, not the prince, and the heir apparent to the truth. The chief prince warned us not to impose a woman or not to force him into marriage. And I know the consequences of disobedience. That is why we should let him be. So, why are you killing yourself then? Leave it for the gods. I called you to know if you can fashion a way to talk him into it without appearing as if we are forcing him. And you are, you are speaking like this? Your Majesty, let us not ruin our son by getting in the ways of the gods. Just like the chief priest has warned, let us leave everything to develop slowly. Yes, Papa. Mama. Stop. Don't provoke me with that your lazy attitude this morning. Stand up! There is no water in this house. Can you explain it? Papa, I filled all the pots and containers with water. I'm sure it was Ogonna that wasted all the water in the house. What do you mean by I wasted the water in the house? Eh? Papa, don't mind how. I only took my bath. Ogona, you took your bath with three buckets of water yesterday. Amaka took hers with half a bucket of water. So, what you now do is to measure the quantity of water my angels use in this house? No, Papa. Ogona showed me too much wickedness in this house. I don't know what I did to her. If she wants to take her bath with lots of water, she should come down to the river where I take mine too. Eh? And take her bath there. Ta! Make sure, Nogi. I say shut up your mouth. I am not a commoner. Mm -mm. I'm not a slave like you who only takes her bath in the open. I am a princess. Eh? So come on, she didn't see poor boy. So go and fetch me water. There's no water in the house. Go oh, now! Nah. Papa, do you have to go and fetch water now? Nah. There's no water in the house now. Oh God, now. Nah. You lied against me last night. You refused to tell Papa where I went to after I begged you to tell him I went to all this place. I was punished. I knelt down all through the night. Please, Papa, let me sleep for just a few hours before I'm going to fetch more water and pick up. Walker, you have no right to sleep. Now, go now and fetch water for my angels to freshen up for money. Go now! Go now, go! Uh -huh. Papa, 
Una lied against her. She actually told her where she was going, and I'm sure she went there. I don't even know why Ichi or Obiese would lie to. Shut up, your mouth, and get out of my sight now. Out of my sight. Your conscience will judge you. Two of you, go inside. Papa, come, come here, come. I don't want to see you. I humble myself before the great king, Izuku, one of Oku kingdom. Your reign belongs, Majesty. What rubbish am I hearing in this palace? Ofo, what rubbish am I hearing? Where's the prince? I'm as surprised as you are, Your Majesty. He's not in the palace. Are you confirming that he left the palace again without the guards? Yes, Your Majesty. He left without any guard. He left before any of the guards could wake up, including myself. What is wrong with this boy? Hmm? What is wrong with this boy? Where could he be? I'm surprised, Your Majesty. He gave me his words that he's not going to leave the palace without any work, any guard. But I'm surprised he's not keeping to his word, Your Majesty. Hmm. The prince is not in this palace and uh, he didn't tell anybody where he has gone to. Your Majesty, he told me where he was going to so I allowed him to leave. You did what? You allowed my son to leave this palace without palace guards in direct disobedience to my orders. Why? But Your Majesty, you are the one that complained that your son is not thinking of getting married and it's because we did not allow him to miss with others. He told me he wants to go fishing in Nkisi River. So I allowed him to go. I told him never to go fishing again. We have fishermen bringing enough fish in this palace. Why go fishing? Why? Fishes are not the only thing men fish for. Let him first of all break free from the cloak of fidelity. Then we'll take it from there. you again and you are giving me the impression of a hard working woman please may i have the honor to you know your name i'm sorry i don't give my name to strangers oh, oh please 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 wait please 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 don't just, just for me as a man of God, when we see people we appreciate we give them gifts please kindly accept my gift to you the fishes i just got today please do, do, do not say no please i'm sorry i can't accept your fish i can't I'm sorry, I but don't know you. It doesn't mean... You please, don't... please, I'm carrying a pot of water, please. But, but... I, I'm, I'm, I am I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Why don't you just accept it? Maybe... I can. Hmm. 
Oh, it's obvious you were sent by the gods to give me directives on how to meet that maiden again. My name is Ekuri Kara. I'm not confused. Look at the fishes you are carrying. Fishes you caught from our Kisi River. Who did you pay your fishing levy to before you started, you started fishing today? Who? Well, there was no one to pay levies to. But that is not a problem. You can have all the fishes I've got today. Please, you can have it all. But just can you tell me who that maiden is? You can have it. You can have it. You are a good man. Who are you? I'm simply a man of Okwe. Please tell me who is that maiden? What, what, what's her name? She is one of the few decent maidens still remaining here in Yezuka Kingdom. Almost all the men in the past that tried to humble her, none of them succeeded. She has a way she talks that can humble even the heart of the rapist. Oh, oh wow, that, that's good. Uh, that's glorious. Uh, she just told me so many things about her now. Uh, I've, I've started having goosebumps. Uh, please, what's her name? Her name is Mwago. The daughter of a wealthy Unze of our Wizuka Kingdom. But she's not actually the daughter. She is a slave that he brought into this kingdom when she was a little girl. Many of the men and women of this kingdom, they believe he's one of us. That is from Wizuka. But those of us that participate in the mass the court of Wizuka Kingdom, we know she's not one of us. She's not from here. A slave, uh, how do you mean? Well, the information I gave you already is bigger than the images you gave me. And I'm not going to speak more. If you want additional information, then you have to pay me more. If you don't want to pay me more, then you have to move into this car and see if there is anybody that will tell you anything. Do that. Please, why don't, why, why don't you help me? Please, can you help me? Can you help me, please? Why, why don't you? Listen, friend, listen, friend. We, you can, we can help each other. That instruction. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, Father. Uh, I just went fishing. That is what you said the other day. It is unacceptable. I can't accept that. I have fishermen that bring fishes inside this palace from time to time. And we have fishes here in this palace. Why would you tell me always that you've gone fishing? Why? Uh, Father, fish may not be the only thing men go for when they go fishing. Father, I, I'm now a man, and I, I want a woman I can call my wife. Oh, my prince, uh, on the strength of what I've just said now, I've forgiven you completely. <laughs> this is the best thing I've heard from you this year. Hmm? That's right. Oh, and the family, the family of your wife to be. We'll be delighted to hear that you, you have now finally decided to take your daughter as your wife. Uh, oh, oh, fa fa Father, I don't understand what you are talking about. What family are you talking about? Oh, my Yuma is the name of the woman you are going to marry. <laughs> She's the daughter of Ogudo, of Adabowel. Now that I've indicated interest to marry her, to take her in as your wife, now arrange for the marriage immediately. No waste of time. I'm excited about oh, this. Uh, f -f Father, I, I have nothing to say until I see this daughter of uh, uh, Ogudo of uh, Adabowel. Uh, not, no, nothing to say now. Okay. No problem. You will love her. <laughs>
Is it not better? Is it not better you stand to death? Have you finished all what I asked you to do? Yes, Papa. I've filled all the containers, all the pots with water, even the containers. Right. Have you gone to Oporto to bring back the yarn I dug out yesterday? I mean, the one I told you that I packed under the Ichiku tree. Yes, Papa. I've, I've, I brought the um, two baskets. I'll, I'll bring the remaining one after I finish it. Uh, how dare you? You are here eating and my yarns are still there in the bush. Pa Papa, trust me now. Back, it no, 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 no. Wait, leave this place. No, no, no. How did you come about my name? I'm sorry. I met a man by name uh, Ekulukaralu. I think he saddled the responsibility of uh, collecting the fishing levy. I asked after you and he told me everything. Please, why, why, why are you leaving suddenly? I've gone to Okwe. But your picture keeps rotating in my mind. Please, I'm lucky to have found you here. Just give me little attention, Mogo, please. I wish I could, but I can't. Why? I am disappointed. What? You have just confirmed that the likes of Ekulkaralu are the friends you keep. No, you must be like him to be his friend. No. I am sorry. No, 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 please. It, it, no, it's, I am it, sorry I can't. It's not like that. I, just listen to me. Oh, I knew it. I knew that that character, Ekulukaralu, does not have integrity. Why did I mention his name? What?
is it a mistake? Or possibly a deliberate action? Okay, I'm talking to you! Okay. You saw a man like me, a Kulkarali of Ezuka Kingdom, sitting down here and you are passing without saying a word. Is, is that a mistake or something you did to know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Ekulukaralu, is this possibly why you called me back? Eh? Hey! <laughs> Ogonna, you have suffered. <laughs> do I look like one of those maidens you can intimidate? Hmm? Do you know your problem? Your problem in this kingdom is that you don't know the men to respect. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see yourself as one of those people Ogonna must respect, eh? Do you actually think I don't know where you're going now? As you're walking? You think I don't know where you're going? Let me tell you. You are going to Ire village. My own Ire village. To go and sleep with the Ukwazo. Yesterday, you, Ogonna, you slept with Jidofo. And last week, you were gonna. You slept with Agozio in his heart. I know you are surprised with what I know about you. But I'm pleading with you not to be surprised because I still regard you as one of the great women we have here in the Zuka Kingdom. I want you to equally regard me as a great man here that must be respected. But if you continue to play the stupid woman that you are, let me tell you what I'm going to do. A day is coming in this kingdom when one innocent man, innocent man will come and indicate interest in being your husband. And I'm going to sit that man down and give him a lowdown of all the men I know who have tested your apple. Listen to me. Um, Ekrukala, please, please wait, please wait, eh? My father told me that the men of this kingdom do not gossip, eh? Please tell me, are you going to do what you just threatened? Hmm? You know, I keep asking myself, Okwaza, Jidofo, Agozi, and all these men you are giving you up, all these men that are going inside of you and coming out. Are they better than me? Fakamuma! Um, please tell me, eh? How did you get to know that I have something to do with all this men? Because I am a cool car along of you, you can't get down. There is nothing happening here that I don't know. Listen, eh? You will not benefit anything if you ruin my chances with any suitor that comes for me. Don't do what you just threatened to do, please. Only on one condition. Hey. And that is? You have to suspend where you are going now. And then you will follow me to my place. And give me the same thing you have been giving to this man. I don't know why you are stepping back. Listen to me. You have no option. You have to give me the same thing you have been giving to this man. And once you do that, then my mouth is sealed forever. But if you continue to play the stupid game, I will do exactly what I threatened. Makachineken, Otuansi, Wagyakan, me. So the choice is yours. Are you coming with me? Anya Leje. Isso mana. I humble myself before my father, the king, your royal majesty. Welcome, my king. May you live long. You shall reign after me. Yes, sir. And your reign shall be greater than mine. Yes, sir. Sit down. Mother, I greet you. You welcome my son. Yes, sir. You sent for me, Father. Yes, I did. Um, stand up.
her name is Mwanyemma. She's the daughter of Ogudo, of Adabowale. She's the one we have groomed to be the next queen of this kingdom. She's the one we are going to marry. Right from birth, she has been trained to live like a queen. I have no doubt at all in my heart that you will love her. Prince and heir apparent to the throne of Okwe Kingdom. You're a man who can do anything for this kingdom. Right from bed, you believe that there's nothing impossible and you can do anything. And once you've made up your mind to do anything, you can, nobody can stop you from that. That's impressive. Really impressive. But naturally, these qualities will always scare a woman. So why are you not scared? Maybe because I'm a warrior like you. There's this cardinal thing about you. You can do anything to defend this kingdom. Same with me. I think we have same orientation about life. Impressed. Uh, so, when was it that you knew about me? That you were going to be my wife? Right from when I was a child. I was meant to know that you're the man for me, and I was meant to love you more and more. <laughs> uh, so, so you are meant. Uh, who, who, and who are these people? My parents and the people the king engaged and saddled with the responsibility of grooming me into a woman. <laughs> Sorry, my dear, but this is funny. What's funny in it, my lord? The fact that they spent time grooming an amazing beauty like you for me without anyone telling me about it. And I know you make me your wife. My dear, this is the first time we are meeting. We will continue this meeting. But I must say that you are welcome. Thank you, my lord. Hope you make her parents happy by making me your wife. Talk about yourself and your happiness. Forget about your parents, okay? Um, Ugobe, I called you because um, as it is now, I now have my doubts. The maiden they groomed for the prince is finally in the palace. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. They groomed her into a queen. Um, I called you to apologize for troubling your, your heart. The prince may never marry you after all. I was not hoping on that. Hmm? I already know about the prince and the maiden of Adabo Wele that is groomed for him. And it's quite unfortunate that you work for the prince as a personal assistant and yet you don't know anything about him. Yeah, it may seem so, you know. But just as they kept him in the dark about it, I was kept there also. I never knew about their plans until today. And now that you have known, hmm, can you now leave Ugebo Yubo alone to do her job in this palace as a maiden? Thank you. Um, I was thinking, you know, now that the prince seems to have someone that he will marry, mm. that um, you will start thinking about me, you know, you and I. <laughs> what do you think? I am not disappointed. You are a real man of Oakwood Kingdom, always ready to take advantage of every situation. Now let me tell you, Ofo, I am not thinking what you are thinking. I am still the one serving the prince. I bear his call. 
And as long as I am the one in charge of what he eats, I can never condescend so, so low to your level to, to, to think of what you're thinking. Thank you. Uh, uh -huh, Ofo, let me warn you. This will be the last time you will ever call me to discuss this issue again. Did she just insult me? She insulted me. By every standard, Father, she is a maiden of outstanding class. Good. Perfectly beautiful. Ah, you know, Father, I must admit the people you hired to groom her into a queen did a fantastic job. Oh, wonderful. Oh, beautiful. I'm impressed by this world of yours. I'm encouraged by this world of yours. You've made my day, my son. But when are you ready to get married? When are you fixing the day for the marriage? That is where the problem is, Father. Yes, father. Problem again? What problem? Uh, uh, Father, yes, she, she, she is gorgeous, uh, but uh, she does not appeal to me as a wife. Does not appeal to you as a wife? Yes, Father. You don't trust my judgment. No, Father, I trust your judgment. You, you are the best father. I mean, you, you are the best father. Then why do you reject the woman I found for you? Eh? Why? Father. And you've confounded that she's brought up in the caliber of queens. Yes, Father. Father, let us not drag this thing. Father, the woman you found for me is good, but she's not my wife. I cannot say I know exactly what he's thinking, but from the way he was talking, I don't think he's ready for me yet. Why would you say a thing like that? My son, the prince, was the one that told his father that he had decided to take a wife. And he cannot go to him and say that if he was not ready for you. Maybe I expected much from him. I think I'll give him time to develop more interest in me. It's all right. I don't have any problem with that. But I want you to know that you are the chosen one for him, okay? And to me, you will make an excellent wife for my son. Thank you, Your Majesty, for your words of encouragement. I shall be on my way. It's okay, my dear. Sheriff, put some smiles on your face. Uh, the maidens will escort you to Adaba Ogori, okay? So share up. It's well with you, my friend. Take care of yourself. here with me and from the way he sounded I doubt if we can force him. Hey, Igwe, what I know is that force is completely out of it. If you will ask me, he should be allowed to marry a woman of his choice. Where can he get a woman better than one Where? Anyway, I called you here to talk to him. Go and speak to the prince. Is the prince in the palace? Of course, of course, of course. Um, or I know so. I bow before the king. You shall live long, your majesty. Take the chair. Go back to the prince. Igwe. Prince Inna, the Prince of Ufa, I greet you. This is the very first time you are visiting my house, the house of the Chief Priest of Ufa. What brought you must be something serious. Tell me about it. The woman my father, the king, brought to me as a wife does not appeal to me. <laughs> I do not want to offend the gods of the land. Can I not be allowed to marry a woman of my choice? My prince, I already spoke to your father about this very topic. 
and I have absolute trust that he will not twat what I told him about your wife. Go to him. Ask him to brief you what I said about your wife. Ichiogo Belenoji, you're not getting me. He has briefed me on this so-called woman. She has even been invited to the palace. I've even had interaction with her. I'm here because, I mean, even though she's uh, beautiful and well-groomed, she still does not appeal to me as a wife. I am asking, uh, can't I be allowed to marry a woman of my choice? The Prince of Ope. Yeah. I spoke to your father, the King of Ope, in the presence of the Prime Minister of Ope. I can see you don't want to face your father about this. Then, go to Obwefi Obukaro. He will tell you exactly what I said. And I know they will not want to allow the wrath of the gods to descend upon this land. Go to him. Igwe. Uh, Igwe, the prince is not in the palace. Even his personal assistant does not know where he went to. Uh, Father, fish may not be the only thing men go for when they go fishing. Does it mean he has a woman somewhere? Igwe, why would you say that? Yes, he has been going fishing lately. I comforted him and said that fish may not always be the only thing men go for when they go fishing. Igwe, he actually said that to you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I didn't read meaning into it until now. Does it mean that he has been going fishing for a woman? Or he has a woman already somewhere? Igwe, I don't know what to say. Ogonna, why are you behaving as if we are still strangers? You did what I asked you to do and you did excellently well. And I am excited. We are friends. Why are you behaving as if we are no friends? Ha! Huh. And that's the truth. You have just said the truth, eh? We are not friends. Sam, Sam, Sam. You lured me into the act. And I obliged you. Because you promised to shut up this your mouth. Eh? Ha! -ha. Listen, let me tell you. Don't push your luck too far. Don't. Because you will not like me. When you provoke me, you will not like what I'll do when you provoke me. You will not, oh. Why are you sounding as if you're not from this kingdom? Agonna. People in this kingdom do not know the test of soup. The test of any soup with only one swallow of Andedia. For you to know the test of the soup, you have to swallow again and again and again. Hi! You know what I'm saying? You're not serious. Eh? You are not. So you want to have me again and again, eh? Why? Eh? Obrogo, omanle. Is it Obrogo, omanle. Did you hear me? If it's a cost, it will not work. Ah! God forbid. It will not. Listen. Don't make me to regret what I did already. Don't. Because you will not like what I'll do to you. I've said it again. You won't like what I do to you when you provoke me. I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. What are you trying to do? You want to leave me here? Okona, listen. Don't see it as if I'm threatening you with our little secret. I'm not threatening you at all. I already told you that what we did is something that I have already buried in my heart. It is between you and I. And there is no way I will ever disclose what we did to anybody. What do you want from me? Eh? Ogonna, I want you to forget all the men in this kingdom that had you already. 
forget them. I'm not bothered about them. I see that as what you did in your ignorance. And one thing about me is that I am not going to allow what you did in your ignorance. They are your wrongs. I won't allow your wrongs to hurt you. In fact, I am going to assist you to right your wrongs. I just want you to see me as a friend. We have a life together. Just appreciate me as a friend. That's all I want from you. <laughs> hey! Is this not the typical example of an Isuka woman that we get with our age? Despite all the evil in this kingdom, she's really had this girl. She's still looking as if nothing happened. The family is still in the same region. I said there are two questions I wanted to ask you. First, do you remember what happened to Dike Ukadike of Onungene that made him kill his daughter and then hang himself? Enonenti, <clears throat> who was not even qualified to talk to his daughter, got his daughter pregnant. As if that was not enough. He boldly went to Dike Okadike, asking him to lend him money to come and pay his daughter's bride price. Dike Okadike killed his non entity, came back and killed his daughter for bringing shame into his family, and then hanged himself. So, <laughs> why are you asking me about him? <coughs> Second question. Do you know the young man called the Muloka Ralo? The Sen Muloka Ralo of Ire Village. The one that was barred from attending village meeting because they discovered that he was the one revealing all their secrets to the village women. <laughs> I know him. Exactly. That same Ikuluka Ralo, that same young man that has no class, is sleeping with Togonna, your daughter. What? No, 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 Lana. Sit down, sit down. Eh? Sit down. Iponze, you need to handle this matter like a man with authority. Or, same dilemma that confronted Dike Ukadike will come your way. Huh? Yes, just tell me that you are joking. Yes, just tell me you are joking. I humble myself before the elders of our And where are you coming from? Where are you coming um, from? There are better ways of dealing with issues like this. Oh, Kuimono. I will be on my way now. What is it about your life that you're thinking? I keep wondering why almost everybody hates me. I don't know what I've done. Then the only person who showed me some some sort of care and even sang for me, I treated the person badly. I feel so guilty. And who is this person? I am asking you, what are you doing with Ekulika of all people? Papa, do you possibly believe what a stranger told you more than your own daughter, eh? The man that just spoke to me is not a stranger. He is an honorable man of this kingdom. And he said, 
He has seen you walk in into his heart. What are you doing with that man? He also said that both of you have been seen walking into the corners and rows of this kingdom. Are you telling me that there is no more shame remaining on your face? Papa, the truth is that there have been passes being made at me. Yes, not just from Ekurukara alone, but from different men in our kingdom. Papa, what I can tell you is that I have not compromised myself. I have not at all. And who are these men making passes at my daughter? Ha. Who are they? Papa, why are you asking after them now? Eh? Do you want to go and want them? Papa, why do you want to go and warn them now, eh? See, your daughter is very happy that they are making passes at her. Eh? I'm very happy that they are making passes at her. Calling me, <laughs> desiring me. <laughs> Papa, that means that your daughter is in hot demand. <laughs> See, Papa, I know what you want. Eh? And very soon, I'm going to attract the best suitor. I know that you'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited hearing that from you. Papa, I know exactly what you want. And that's what you're going to get. The best you know. And everybody will be happy. <laughs> Please, just stop. Stop. How did you find me? 